r slash ask reddit what bs from your parents did you absolutely not tolerate that's just fucking creepy and weird you guys were allowed not to tolerate what your parents did to you my dad threw things and kicked us out of the house because we reminded him that we were going to our uncle on mom's side that thanksgiving he tried to smack the disabilities and Tourette's out of me and worse putting my foot down would be the last time i had that foot i'm never going to be a parent i would feel ashamed to fuck up that badly my mom abandoned us twice in the span of 16 years i refuse to even contact her i'll instill logical argumentation in my kids growing up my dad would yell at everyone in the family until they all decided to act like he was right in order to get him to stop i want to be able to have a peaceful conversation with my children i had to acquire that life skill much later in life it's definitely a sign of a good parent when they don't repeat their parents bad parenting when i physically outgrew my mother and she tried to slap my face i caught her hand and said no we're not doing that anymore i still remember the look of horror on her face all of them i moved out at 17 when i legally could and never looked back same moved out at 16 17 best decision of my life and it has only been uphill since then yelling at me because I didn't know the plan that they didn't tell me. I have learned to say sternly, you didn't tell me that. I don't deserve to be yelled at. I can't read your mind. I had a really great friend group in high school so my parents knew that the worst punishment for me would be barring me from hanging out with them. Also in that time, my parents constantly tried to get me to exercise more. So if I was in trouble, I'd ask if I could hang out with them and they'd say no. Then I'd ask if I could go on a bike ride and they'd say sure, so I'd go ride my bike to their house and hang out with them. Bitching untrue family drama about me on social media. Was politely asked to stop. She did it again, and was told to stop and the consequences were itemized. She did it a third time. Peace out. I've had family do this to each other and it always makes me want to die from the second-hand embarrassment of it all. I just find the concept of publicly badmouthing slash calling out family members so damn trashy. After being beaten up my life as the oldest and a boy by dad, him hitting my little sister when I turned 18. Turns out when he did that first I realized I was much bigger and taller than him and he cowered. And GT, I was much bigger and taller than him and he cowered. This made me smile. The bully is finally put in his place. Good on you, internet friend. Leaving family gatherings then bitching about everyone the minute we left. Mostly the women. Bro I can't stand that especially doing it in front of your children. It's just raises them to be judgmental. Ha! Huh? I did something similar. My parents used to spank when I was kid, it was common at the time. But then they also enrolled me in a martial arts class. That first time they tried to swat me and I reflexively blocked it was hilarious. My father commented a while afterward in hindsight, we should have expected that. I see you went to the same reunions I did. My mom could not wait to leave so she could start bitching about her family. Like lady, if you don't like these people, why do you force us to go? The silent treatment. I just ignore it when my mother resorts to the silent treatment, usually happens when she's had an argument with my father, she's always been petty as hell. In fact, that's just about the only time she's quiet, sometimes it's a nice break. Smoking in my house and around my kids. I know it's an addiction, and I've seen them both struggle to quit repeatedly, and I have my own behaviors I'm fighting. But I can see the physical damage, like the orange stains on their fingers. I can tell when they light up while on the phone with me from the flummy, hacking cough. I know how sick I got the first time I came home from college after being away from secondhand smoke for the first time in my life. My kids weren't going to be exposed. Always sifting through all my belongings up until I was an adult, at which point I pieced out. I had the same issue. Also they would not knock my door when they enter my room. Zero privacy whatsoever until I was 23, which is when I moved out double standards on dating daughters couldn't date until 18 sons had no minimum age so i called them on it pointed out potential consequences for either of us etc and in the end my younger sister was allowed to date before 18 she has no idea how often i did that stuff for her or our younger sisters sometimes i was a good brother lol it was abusive where i lived anyway but finding out that them and my aunt must have not given me a letter and forged signature then used this to get money I was meant to get to them for several years. Basically fraud and realizing my life was so controlled because of that. 
I wanted to leave quickly then and didn't feel safe as family had realized I knew about it and also did a large smear campaign with stalking and harassment slash dot threats etc so moved away and had to be in a domestic abuse refuge. That I couldn't start dating until I had finished college and got a job in my career. Over time I realized that just became a way to make sure I just don't abandon them. Now I do have a partner but I have to work on the anxiety and loneliness they imposed on me via taking away my autonomy as an adult. Gaslighting and dismissing my feelings. Threats to cut me out of the will. My mother started in on those threats when I was a 15 year old honors student. It was a power trip for her. She's a habitual screamer. When my abusive mom starting abusing my son. I no longer allowed her contact with him. Things ramped up when she started horribly abusing my then vulnerable father. Took steps on that one. Legal steps but she suddenly up and died so it became a non-issue except correcting the harm she had done. I just wanted a Pepsi and she wouldn't give it to me. Just one Pepsi. My mom got my cat to claw behind my back and I made her life hell for a while, I was 14. Then a couple years ago found out she was switching my antidepressants with placebo pills. Have never had the same relationship with her since. My dad hitting my mom. Apparently he didn't realize that I would get bigger than him eventually. Painful mistake on his part. She's now alone in her 80s with her money. She's worth 7 figures but she's more trouble than she's worth. She's worth 7 figures but she's more trouble than she's worth. Well said. My mom sold my dog while I was at work. When I came home and was looking for them she told me that someone came to see him today and that they loved and took him. He went to a good home, but I never got to even say goodbye. Removed. My father sent me the hawk twa meme and asked if I was going to teach my daughter how to hawk twa, spit on that thing. I haven't spoken to him since because he would not accept boundaries or think how that may be inappropriate. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're gonna have a lot more bangers in the future, so subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, bye.